All right, let's talk about the period of time we are just now entering called the annual enrollment period. If you have Medicare or you work in the Medicare space, this is a very important time of year, full of changes and commercials and confusion. So let's clear some things up. Medicare has a few specific time periods where you are allowed to make changes to your current Medicare setup. The annual enrollment period is one of those windows. It is most commonly referred to as AEP, and it runs every year from October 15th through December 7th. Now, what you can do during AEP depends on your current Medicare coverage situation. So here are the four coverage options that can take advantage of AEP to make changes. Please note that you do not have to, nor should you make some of these changes. They are just what you can do during this time. So scenario number one, you only have original Medicare parts A and B and nothing else. You don't have a supplement plan. You don't have an advantage plan. You don't have prescription drug coverage. If this is the case during AEP, you can join a Medicare Advantage plan. There are Advantage plans that have drug coverage included and other plans that do not. You can join either one. If up to this point in your life, you have not had creditable drug coverage, what this means is that the coverage, whether through an employer or some other form, is expected to pay on average as much as the standard Medicare prescription drug coverage. So if you have not had creditable coverage and you decide to go on a plan that includes drug coverage, you could be subject to a Part D penalty. Now your second option under this scenario is to only pick up a standalone prescription drug plan. No Medicare Advantage plan. Similar thing here around the creditable coverage deal. If you haven't had creditable coverage, there could be a penalty. Your last option during AEP, if you just have original Medicare, is to do nothing. Your current coverage will remain as is. All right, Medicare setup scenario number two. You currently have original Medicare parts A and B and a standalone prescription drug plan. If this is the case, then during AEP, you can join a Medicare Advantage plan with or without drug coverage included. If you join one with drug coverage included, it would cancel your existing standalone plan and you would be on the plan included with the Medicare Advantage option. You can switch from your current standalone drug plan to another standalone drug plan. There are certain plans that may increase premiums a lot from one year to the next or change the drugs that they cover to where your drugs are no longer covered. So those are a couple of reasons why changing a drug plan from one to another may make sense during AEP. You can drop drug coverage completely. Now, 99.99% of the time, we would not recommend this, but you can do this during AEP. Finally, you can do nothing and your coverage would renew as is. All right, scenario number three, you currently have a Medicare Advantage plan that includes drug coverage. Lots of choices here. You can switch from your current Medicare Advantage plan to another Medicare Advantage plan, either with or without built-in drug coverage. You can drop your Medicare Advantage plan and go back to original Medicare. There are some caveats there that we cover in other videos. You can get a standalone Medicare drug plan if you go back to original Medicare or if you switch to a Medicare Advantage plan that does not have drug coverage. You can drop prescription drug coverage completely. Remember that you could be charged a penalty if you decide that you ever want drug coverage again later. Finally, you can do nothing and your current coverage will renew as is. All right, the last scenario here, number four, you have a Medicare Advantage plan that does not include drug coverage and you have a standalone prescription drug plan. Now, you can switch from your current Medicare Advantage plan to another Advantage plan with or without built-in drug coverage. You could switch from your current Medicare drug plan to a different Medicare drug plan. You could drop your Medicare Advantage plan completely and go back to original Medicare. You could drop Medicare prescription drug coverage completely. Remember that, again, you could be charged a penalty if you decide that you want drug coverage later or do nothing and your current coverage will renew as is. So there you have it the four different Medicare scenarios that kind of are impacted by AEP and depending on which describes you, what you can do during AEP. As I mentioned at the beginning, just because you can do something does not mean that you should do that thing. Always work with an agent to determine if your current setup makes the most sense for you. If you have that person in your life, use them. If you don't have that person in your life, we are happy to help. As always, I appreciate you and thank you for watching. Yeah.